here, friends, we're gonna be drawing Hulk. Yeah, Hulk smash. <laughs> we hope you got a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with us. Let's first start by drawing two diagonal lines and this is for his eyebrows. We're gonna draw him right in the middle of our paper, but kind of towards the top so that we have room for his body below. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line that goes up on one side and a diagonal line up on the other side. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw his eyes. We're gonna draw half of a circle so that his eyes look like they're under his eyebrows. So there's one, and then we're gonna draw another one over here, and we want them to be about the same size. Ooh, that one might be bigger. <laughs> yeah, okay, now inside of this, we're gonna draw smaller circles on the left side. There's one, and I'm gonna draw another one up here. Now he looks like he's looking to the left, except these are the this is the light reflecting in his eyes. Now yeah. we're gonna draw his pupils, and they're gonna be behind the light reflection. So we're gonna just draw part of a circle that comes around and matches the outside. Yes, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now let's draw smaller circles on the right side. So we're gonna just draw little ones, little circles over here on the right. Now let's color in his pupils, but leave everything else white. All right, we're finished drawing his eyes. Let's finish his eyebrows. Now, right here on the edge, we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. So I'm gonna draw a little curve over here also, left and the right. Okay, now we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes up on both sides. Then we're gonna draw the top of the eyebrow. So we're gonna draw a line that comes out and then curves back and connects. Yeah, good. And then we'll repeat that same shape over here. All right, cool. Now let's draw the bottom of his eye. We're gonna draw a little curve that touches the very bottom. And we'll do the same thing over here. And sometimes I like turning my papers. There we go. Next, let's draw his nose. I'm gonna draw a big, wide U in between his eyes. Now what is Hulk usually doing with his mouth? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna draw it open. I'm gonna draw his mouth. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna come up, down, and then back up and back down. Looks like a mustache. Yeah, yeah it kind of does look like a like mustache those, or wait, like special mustaches. Those, like one string eye <laughs> mustache. Yeah, kind of. Kind of looks like an M. Oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and connects over to the right. Okay, now let's draw his teeth. We're gonna draw another curve up here at the top and another curve down here at the bottom. Okay, now let's draw his tongue. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up and then back down, and then we can color in the left and the right side. Now, remind our art friends what they can do if we go too fast or fast forward the video. Pause the video! Yeah, you guys can pause the video if you need more time to finish a step. Okay, now let's draw the outside shape of his head. We're gonna start over here, right next to his eye. We're gonna come down, and then we're gonna curve in under his mouth. We're gonna come back up, and then curve back up next to the right side of his eye. Is that cool? It's kind of yeah. tricky. If you want to make this a little easier, you could just draw U. You don't have to put these little corners. But I like doing it so it makes him look like he has a strong chin. Yeah, there you go. That looks really strong. Yeah! <laughs> okay, next we're gonna draw his hair. We're gonna draw a zigzag line that starts over here, and I'm gonna draw it messy. So it goes all the way over and then connects to the right side. Yeah, sweet. Okay, now we're gonna draw the top of his hair. We'll start here and draw a curve up first. And we can also do that curve over here on the right side. Okay, now we're gonna connect with another zigzag line. There we go. That looks like Hulk hair. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah! <laughs> I really like his hair. Bad hair day. Yeah, bad. <laughs> Looks like he's really angry or he's on fire. Yeah, that's one of the two. <laughs> okay, now let's color in his hair black. All right, we did it. We finished coloring his eyebrows in too. Now let's draw his ears. We're gonna draw a C shape over here on the left side and a backward C over here on the right side. 
And there's some big ears. Now we're gonna draw his shoulders and we're also gonna draw his body. So we're gonna start over here next to his ear and we're gonna draw a big C shape that comes out and it starts coming down towards his chin. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw his other shoulder over here coming out of this ear and down towards his chin. Okay, now let's draw his chest. We're gonna leave a little gap, but then we're gonna come down, draw his chest coming across his body and then back up. You just want to leave a little gap right in between his shoulder and his chest muscles. All right, now let's draw his stomach. We're going to draw another U down here. He's going to look so cool. He's going to look like he's growling at us. Yeah. All right, now we're going to draw his legs. So we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out to the side on each side, both sides. Now in between these two lines, we're going to draw an A line. It's going to come up and then back down. Now on each side, let's connect it, and then right at the end, we're gonna curl in. I'm gonna create a little curve so it's not a sharp corner. And we'll do the same thing over here. Good. And then he doesn't have pointy feet. Yeah. Now, he has shorts on, right? Mm -hmm. But they're torn because he got really big. So we're gonna draw a zigzag line across his leg on each side. Okay, now we need to draw his toes. We're gonna to draw a big toe first. So a big backwards C, and then we're gonna draw. No. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there we... That's okay, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> now we're gonna draw two more right here next to him. So we're gonna draw, these are a little smaller. And then right at the end, I'm gonna draw one more. Yeah. So he's got four toes. Good job. I got five. <laughs> and you have five. One, nice. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's okay. We draw him four because, or four or five or six. It's a cartoon, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to draw. 29. <laughs> 29, maybe not. We're going to draw a big C over here. There's a big toe. And then we're going to draw little ones after that. You know what? And I even have less over here on this side. I'm going to draw another one sticking out, just like you did. <laughs> well, I didn't draw one sticking out. I oh, used was... that one as oh, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, anyways, we're practicing, right? It's, it's okay if we make little mistakes because we're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's finish his arms. We're going to draw his bicep muscle first. So we're going to draw a little curve that comes out and down. Oh, I connected Yeah, that's okay, you connected it. That's fine. And then we're going to draw another curve over here. This is going to be for his, his arm coming out. So you can draw it because you connected it. Draw it right here, curving out down to about there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to draw another curve up here, and it's going to come down like this. So he's got big muscles, and we're kind of getting close to his wrist. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw his thumb, and it's going to be right next to this line, and we're going to draw an oval. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And we're going to draw his hand so it looks like this. Like this. <gasps> Yeah. Or grabbing something. <laughs> like he's grab oh, grabbing air. Yeah, grabbing air or he's getting ready to grab a big bus. Yes. Okay, now we're going to draw four more of these, but they're going the other direction. So here we go. We're going to draw one, two, three. Well, we're going to draw three first. Did I say four? Yeah. Okay, and then the fourth one we can draw kind of behind this one. Cool. Okay, now let's connect them. So we'll connect those two, his thumb and his first finger, and we'll connect in between these fingers. And then we need to draw the rest of his hand. So I'm going to draw a curve here. And then we can draw another curve right next to it, connecting to his pinky. Pinky finger. Pinky. Yeah. And then right inside his hand, let's draw a little curve. And then on his arm, let's draw. Yeah. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. Looks really cool. Okay, now we're going to read. Looks like he's grabbing an apple. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> It looks like an apple. Let's not color it red, though. Yeah. It totally looks like an apple. That's the stem, <laughs> and then that's the apple. If you want to color it red, you could, but let's just <laughs> let's color it green so <laughs> he's not holding an apple. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm so hungry. I'm, so, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, we're going to repeat all those same steps over here. So let's draw his bicep first. Curve coming down. Then we're going to draw that other curve coming out. And then we're going to draw that other top curve coming down to his wrist. Now we're gonna draw his thumb. So we're gonna draw that oval first, right next to his wrist. Then we're gonna draw three more ovals right next to it. One, two, three. And then the fourth one we can draw kind of 
overlapping behind his other fingers. Yeah, now let's connect them. And then we're gonna draw that curve for his thumb and then another curve to make it look like an apple or heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Valentine's Day, you could draw the stem, stem. the stem coming out. <laughs> or they're bombs. That's the muscle. Yeah, bombs. bombs. Yeah. <laughs> this is the this is the muscle on his wrist. Yeah, and then right here, this line is one of these lines inside of his palm. But we did it. We finished drawing Hulk, man. He looks really cool. Yeah. Except he's gonna look even better once we do what? Color him. Yeah, we gotta color him green. A lot of green. A lot of green. <laughs> Now this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. Green. Green! <laughs>Coloring Hulk and he turned out awesome. That was a lot of green. Mm -hmm. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. I added some shading to make him make, make him look more 3D. And we colored look, green apples. Yeah, and we colored the apples green. <laughs> or you guys at home can leave the shading off and just color them solid green yeah. to keep the lesson a little easier. We also added shading up in his eyes to make his eyes look even cooler. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Hulk. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Hulk. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.